Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my hood. And it is March. March came really freaking fast. February flew by. February was a bad month. Anyways, so it's a new month, so y'all know what time it is. It is time for the Witch's Moon Box unboxing. And we're just going to get into this because I'm kind of tired. Alright, so this is what I see when I open it. Anyways, this is what I see when I open it. Um, we got the Oracle card, and the Oracle card says, Lady Nada, Heart Awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Interesting. Okay. Um, so this month's box is called Ascending Ascended. Ascended Guides, that's what it's called. And this is the March box. So we have we have this Book of Shadows artwork with the guides on it. And they'll tell you like a specific guide and then they'll tell you the origin, like where it came from, and they'll tell you the guided message on top of it. And it says with pressed with flower pressed paper. flower pressed paper there's flowers inside the paper and this is the book of shadows and this is what it freaking looks like and i'm really excited i am quaking right now um that's really beautiful actually oh my gosh i freaking love it okay i don't know what i'm gonna use it for because i already have a book of shadows but yeah so um yeah, it has a serpent on it, a, a, wing, a two winged serpent. Okay, winged two serpent, that's what it is, um, right here. That's what that is. And uh, the serpent has been attached, uh, etched into the fabric of almost all cultures and magical practices. The Celtics associate the snake with fertility and wisdom. The Greeks associated with intelligence, wisdom, and communication. For, and this very specific design portrays life force energy. That's awesome. And then on the back is the sacred oak tree or the tree of life. That's really cool. This is the Book of Shadows artwork. I already showed y'all. Yep. And we have some more Book of Shadows artwork. We got, um, this is pretty. Am I supposed to put this? Inside of my book of shadows. Yes. Yep. I am. And then this one says dedication. This book is dedicated now and forever to the joys and fears, the lights and tears, aspirations, motivations, and revelations as below, as above and so below to the creator of now and spark of divine and to the many who come before and the undoubted trails and tribulations and to those who may come later dedicated to the old and to the hidden to the undiscovered and unseen to what may come awake or in dreams this book serves as an extension of the soul and thus is sacred so it is that's nice so it says that one that i just read this one it's been handwritten and designed by um, a very talented person and place this artwork near or in the front of your book of shadows. And the same thing with um, this one. 
it's really beautiful and you could do that and then we got a candle holder this is a candle holder a gold candle holder and it's brass actually and it's much represented item for our hand rolled spell candles which is this Yeah, to clean wax, you can recommend putting in the freezer overnight and simply removing the wax and then stick it out. Okay, that's cool. So it's just a candle holder, like a brass one. That's really nice of them. Um, oh, yes, they brought back those incense. Those smell good. Okay, this incense, I mean incense, this candle is purple. And it comes with incantation and it's called token of wisdom and it says as i stand here now among guides and gods to the humblest of states i ask to call upon i ask awareness to see signs that may hide i ask for wisdom to interpret to interpret symbols and guides i ask for confidence to trust in my choice i ask for knowledge to empower my voice i ask for clarity amid the chaos and clutter to burden broaden my perspective to hear the slightest mutter. I seek wisdom in words and signs and symbols. I call upon the ancients to guide and signal. As I stand here now among guys and gods in the umbles of states I ask, I call upon someone to be. That was very beautiful. I think you kind of just stick that in there like that. Yep. Or if I, you can melt the bottom. Because it's hand rolled, so there's like space in here, so it's kind of hard for it to do that. But it sticks like that. Ka chow. Okay. Um, we got some herbs. We got some peppermint leaf, some dandelion leaf, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for the herbs. So we got. Jupiter tea in this bag and Jupiter is associated not only with legends of luck but the path of eagerness towards finding answers and it has rosemary, green tea, sage, sapphire, and rose petals. That's beautiful. We got some dandelion leaf and it's a sacred, sacred herb. It has multiple world abilities alongside of dandelion ability to aid in divinatory practices. You can call upon the most nutritious, dense plants to know it exists. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah. And then we got the peppermint leaf. And it's great to assist with sleep and promote love and inspire healing energy. got the sacred bath salt lady of the lake that's what it's called mm, that smells phenomenal lady of the lake also known as um see i don't even know how to say this siridinwin 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 or the keeper of the cauldron you put this in bath water and it has blackberry leaf Good. I'm kind of sick, so I can't really smell that well. But I think it smells good. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, it has lemongrass in it. That's what I smell. And mugwort, rosemary, chamomile, blue cornflower, frankincense. Yep. So that's that. It looks like that, which you can't really see because it's in an amber bottle. And then, last but not least, we got this. Um, rose, rose, rope incense. It's called Nag Chuma. And mm, Nag 
like it says Nagchuman is created using natural herbs, gums, and sandalwood. Handmade in Nepal, it wonderfully fragrant scent ritual robe is a great addition to any ritual that requires a stable and relaxed state of mind. As you light the red tip, then blow it out. Place one rope incense on a plate or within a small fire safe dish to allow the smoke to dance through your space. And we did that really freaking fast. So, that's the end of that video. This is the shortest, which is Moonbox video I ever made. So, I hope y'all enjoyed it because them things really be long. They be like 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, that's it for this March's, um, which is Moonbox. And like, subscribe, and do all that nice stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Say